Hello, what's up you guys? It's so nice to see you here and today we'll be creating a drop down menu using CSS. As you can see right here, it's so simple, beautiful, elegant and a lot more. It's all magic of CSS, pure CSS. So now let's reload and get back on the code so where we'll be writing some HTML and CSS to make this thing. First of all, we'll be creating a div element that will be holding everything and the div element will be given a class that is drop-down just to make it even more understandable. You can name it anything. And this drop-down will be containing everything of a drop-down and we'll be having two parts in it. Number one that will be hidden, that is the drop-down list. And number two that we are writing right now and it is the only part that is directly visible to the user without interactions and here we are creating a span element with class button and main button and we'll put some text in it just like surprise us both of us you and me will both get surprised at the end of tutorial now let's close the span element and after that we'll be creating a div element of a class drop down content as we are creating a drop down menu at least have some drop down content that will be visible when user will interact so let's create a div with class drop down content and then after creating this div we will be putting some nodes a span nodes in it and with some text inside them and let's close this div and start by writing some span elements for the dummy content and we'll be creating span elements with class button for nice and beautiful looks and we'll be adding some text to it that is subscribe us if you like our video and tutorial so don't forget to give it a thumbs up too and we'll copy it a few more times so that we will have enough content to manipulate and to view. Now let's reload it. And this is how it looks like a simple HTML markup. Now we'll be moving to the CSS. So get ready for this. Before that, we'll need to create a style element because we're not coding in any external sheets. We are using internal styles over here. And as you can see, we have create the style element now we'll move to the perfect stylings first of all all we need to do is, is to hide the drop down content because it's currently useless so let's hide it by drop down content display none and now it's done let's reload and give it a try now what we need to do is, is to make the drop down content visible whenever somebody hovers over the drop down. That's why dot drop down semicolon hover drop down content and we'll set display none to display block as it will make the content visible. And by doing this, we have achieved the standard functionality of a drop-down using CSS only. Now, after achieving the functionalities, we'll be moving to style and that's the most difficult part because we're going to face a lot of problem with the surrounding content and a lot more things. So, let's begin by styling most common class, that's the button class. First of all, we're going to set it to display inline block because we will be using some block level properties with it and then we're gonna set some padding and uh, here we are setting it to 25 pixels and then we'll be setting the background color for it we're setting it to a dark look color just so it will look nice and the right after that we're gonna set the font color for it that's using the color property to a lighter shade because it will be visible and finally 
just to make it even more beautiful and look nice we'll be using the font family we'll be changing the font style too so let's change it and we're sending it to sans serif over here and then we'll reload now we're done and let's try it using a reload as you can see it's looking pretty much like a drop down but it's still not the real drop down so let's move to the styles again and now we'll be bringing all of those horizontally aligned, aligned buttons of drop down content in a single line that's why we're going to use dot dot drop down content button display block we are sending them to display block so that they will be aligned vertically rather than horizontally as you can see right here but another problem occurs that they are covering the whole area as you can see the whole width so what we need to do is, is just set the main drop down element here into display inline yes it seems a bit weird but it's really important then they will not cover up the whole width now let's reload and see what happens as you can see we have got it now it looks pretty much like a drop down but still a lot of things are missing and it lacks a lot of things so now we'll be selling the main button class we'll be just changing the background color to a brighter color that's blue over here so after setting the background color it will look pretty nice then we'll be solving another problem that is a bit typical and left unnoticed and as you can see it's looking pretty nice after coloring now we're going to create a paragraph element right after the drop down element has ended with some text nodes that is some text in the paragraph now let's reload and a big problem will occur as you can see whenever we hover it shifts the text down and it's a big problem to solve that we have to set drop down content to position absolute and then to control this position absolute attribute we have to set the parent that is drop down to position relative it won't run out of the house then as you can see we have did it but another problem occurs that it's wrapping the text so to stop it we'll write some CSS a single line of CSS in the button the main button class and we'll set white space to no wrap this will bring the whole text into line as long as via tag is not encountered as you can see we have got in line now we have solved almost every problem now it's time for a bit styling optional styling so we're gonna set hover to the drop down buttons and we'll change their color their background color to shot of orange or red here that is background color and it's F55 6 BB2 and as you can see it's pretty nice looking pretty nice and it's a hoverable drop down now let's add some transition to make it even more smoother so let's do it by adding it in drop down contents button and we have set the time for one second and now let's reload and see our full final fledged drop down as you can see it's pretty nice and beautiful and uh, it was me doing just 43 lines of CSS and HTML. Isn't it beautiful and easy? We hope you liked it very much and thanks for supporting us till here and don't forget to subscribe us and join our Facebook group and make sure you watch our previous video that it is on. 
connecting to MySQL database using object oriented style of MySQL extension. And don't forget to watch our other videos too, which are on the right side of the screen. And uh, make sure to subscribe us and don't forget to follow us on Google Plus and Facebook. And don't forget to join our Facebook group too. Like, comment, share. Thank you.